Hello people of God, this is Magic of Sweet TV and I am Tupi Dupi Singer. This is episode 154, 154. Hmm. I ended episode 153 by telling you that um, the Lord showed me in a revelation, I was woken up in a revelation where I was told that I have been very careless that two weeks ago a leaf was shown to me in my dream and I had not gone to look for the for the leaf in the bush or in the garden. And I, uh, I want to tell you that if the Lord had not made me listen to the story of my friend that said that she was shown three vegetables in her own revelation, but that she never went to get the, the, the vegetables and she never prepared the oil that was shown to her from the vegetables, I would not have known how to go. The Lord used that story to nudge me into action. Yet I was a little careless. I wasn't going to do anything until, you know, I was now told in another revelation that I had not gone to fetch the leaf. But then, in between what my friend told me and the time that the leaf was shown to me in, the, in, in my own revelation, before I was told that I had been careless, I had this revelation. I was in front of my house in the dream and a friend of mine was plaiting my hair. You know, in this, uh, this part of the world, there's a way we plait our hair in those days with a black thread. That was what she was doing for me. And a pharmacy was beside my house. I'll tell you why the pharmacy is relevant. Soon, we saw a woman come in a laboratory um, overall. White laboratory overall is usually white anyway. And um, she was holding a file. And she was asking for me to so see she was directed to her house, that that was my address. And then after asking for to pay single, of course, my friend pointed me to her and I asked her why she was looking for me. And she said she had been divinely directed to get me so that I could start uh, brewing a herbal medication. I said, no, maybe, maybe you got it wrong. It couldn't have been me that you were sent to. Maybe you were sent to that pharmacy that is beside you. I said, that's a pharmacy there. If it's anything that is medication, the pharmacy will take care of it. Maybe you got it wrong. She looked at her file again and she said, Are you not to pay singer? And I said, I was at Silam. And she said, Well, I have been sent to you. And she said to me, You will do this uh, about medication and the, the whole world will use it for good health. I said, You will, bottle, you will brew it and bottle it. So I asked her, I said, okay, assuming that you're right, how much will I make on one bottle? And she looked at her file again, and she said to me, you will make 55 Naira in a bottle in one year. Did you hear me? She said, you will make 55 Naira on one bottle in one year. I looked at her up and down and I said to her, are you serious? <laughs> you want me to do that kind of business? What kind of profit margin is that? I told her, I said, I'm struggling with my business. Anyone who knows me well, you know that I was a soft furnisher. I was into soft furnishings. I was into interior decoration before the Lord called me. And that time, it was as if I was struggling with my business. I think the Lord had called me earlier and I was being stubborn. He was packing things up for me. So I told the lady, I said, my business is not doing well already. And you want me to do a business that will give me a bottle of herbal education, will give me 55 naira for one bottle in one year. And she said to me, when God gives you a job, you go and do it because God does not start you up big. God does not start you up big. He starts you up very, very small. Very, very negligibly small. But if you are faithful, 
and your diligence, you will make it become a big thing. He said to me, do not be fooled. If you will be diligent in doing this, it's going to become something very big. It is something that the whole world could use. I said to her, you don't know what you're talking about. I was, it was in arguing, arguing and all that, that I woke up. I woke up and um, I went into deep thoughts. After meditating and never getting what this could mean, I went to use the bathroom and I went back to bed. I went back to bed and I soon slept off. I had a second revelation. In this second revelation, I was in front of a man that was old. He had beards, round, round, round him. He was supposed to be fearful, but there was an aura around him that was genial and friendly. And um, I sat beside him. His voice sounded like an echo. And they asked me, my daughter, did you hear, did you see the person I sent to you? And I asked him, Papa, I called him Papa. Papa, were you the one? No, I said, who did you send to me? He said, the woman that came with a file to ask you to brew a herbal medication. I said, oh, you were the one that sent her? He said, yes. And he said, he asked me, what did you say to her? What was your reply? I said, ah, Papa, we are supposed to know everything. She told me I will make 55 Naira on a bottle in one year. I said, what kind of a business is that? What kind of a business is that? If you want to give me a business, you give me one that will be, give me prosperity and make me wealthy. And he started laughing. Don't forget that I said his voice was like an echo. And he, it was going on and on and on and on. It was sounding like an echo. It was going on and on and on and on and on. And he said to me, my daughter, I don't start anybody big. That was the same thing that that lady said to me in the first room. I said, God doesn't start anybody big. I said, I don't start anybody big. I start people from very little. It is only when you are faithful and you're diligent that you become big at the thing that I've put in your hands. I said 55 Naira on a bottle in one year. And you know what you're saying? He laughed again. He laughed. And he said to me, go and be faithful. Just go and do what you I have asked you to do. I'm trustworthy. Go and do what I ask you to do. I'm trustworthy. And he said, as if an afterthought. Ah, let me also tell you, tell my people that I have given jobs to, that I don't start people big. I don't start people big. I start you very little. And I'll be testing you on the way. I'll be checking up on you, how faithful you are, how you're willing to keep my commandments, how you're willing to give glory to me as a source of the wisdom of the product that you are about to produce. As I tell my people, I never start anybody big. Tell my people, I never start anybody big. And go and be diligent, go and be faithful. Go and be diligent, he kept repeating that. Go and be faithful, and it will become, it will become something big for you one day. One day, it will become something big. Just go and trust me, and go and be diligent and go and be faithful. Hmm. Now listen to me. I believe that part of the reasons why we are backward at this part of the world is because many of us, I'm not saying all of us, many of us have not yet, yet been schooled, especially by the church. Or maybe the church has schooled us, but we have refused to imbibe because I believe that many of the things that will change the world will be given to us by God in revelations. I believe that many of the technological inventions 
of the world were given to people in dreams and in revelations. Um, except the Lord has nudged you, and except you have understanding, there is a tendency for you to remember these things. You talk about them, but you never pursue them. You know, the same day I had those two revelations, kept saying, go and be diligent and tell my people I never start anybody pig. When you do it diligently, you become big at it. One day it's going to become so big in your hands. One day it's going to become so something big in your hands. I want you to think back and remember all the revelations that the Lord has shown to you. Many times when you tell people, you tell them, yeah, I'm going to be great one day in, in this world. And they ask you why. I say, because the Lord has shown me that I'm going to be great. But you have not pursued. You have not pursued what the Lord has given to you. You have not pursued. There is a, <laughs> there is a pursuit to a purpose. This is not the end of the revelation that eventually made me start to brew God's gold. I will also share with you some of the great things that the Lord has done with God's gold. I tell you something before I end today, that, like I said in the last episode, he became a companion to me. Hmm. All those boys that were with me in the bush, they would go out and get into all manners of trouble. Some of them came back with wounds. Some of them came back with all manners of, of, of illnesses. The only thing I had in my hand with which to treat them that was readily available was this God's gold. It became the world of Moses in my hands. And there was nobody. I always tell them, I, I, I think I've mentioned it before, Nicholas Bulabula had an accident and he broke his jaw. And he was asked to go and bring 25,000 naira. I'm talking about more than 15 years ago. I didn't have the 25,000 naira, but I had God's gold. And I said, giving him God's gold. And his jaw joined together and became normal again. This is my Jacob's Way TV. I'm Dupi Dupi Singer. Please keep subscribing and hit the notification bell and leave a comment behind. But more than anything else, what is in your hand that the Lord has given to you that you have despised? Maybe it's time to go back and pick it and dust it again. Because mm, if you hide your talent, you know what the Bible says? God is going to ask you at the end of time about it. God bless you for watching. I'll look out for you in the next episode. Bye-bye.